Hi, welcome back to Perfectly Imperfect. I'm Shauna, and today's video is going to be a crafting video. Have you ever found yourself forgetting a holiday or forgetting a friend's birthday or an acquaintance? Someone, maybe a coworker or something has a special occasion. Today's video is going to be three really quick, easy, low cost, budget friendly gifts that you can make quickly and they are perfect for little gifts. You can add them to other gifts. You, they can be solo gifts. So let's not dally, let's get started. In my previous video, you all probably remember me hauling these clothespins. What it is, is there's an elephant, a giraffe, looks like a cheetah and a zebra. So if for some reason you cannot find these, you can get a paper uh, paper clip, a clothespin, and a piece of strong cardboard, and you can cut out any shape that you want. You can personalize it. You could even do like circles or squares and put pictures of people in them or whoever the gift is for, their animals, um, their pets, or anything. What we're going to do is we're going to turn these into refrigerator magnets. So all you need is either this or the clothespins and a piece of cardboard and some paper and some craft magnets. Now these came from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. Um, they're just left, left over. This one was a 30 pack. These, however, do not have the sticky back. They do have some that have sticky back. So because these don't, we're also gonna have to use some E6000 glue. Now, if you do not have the um, magnets, the sticky back magnets, you can find them very easily at the Dollar Tree, um, Walmart, Mighty Dollar, just about anywhere, and they're about a dollar. And then, of course, this pack was a dollar. And then you could find a pack of clothespins for a buck. So this whole thing is going to cost you at most four or five dollars. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to pull off one of your clothespins. Grab one of your magnets. Take your E6000 glue. And instead of putting it on the clothespin, I like to put it on the magnet. And because you don't, if you don't know how heavy the things are that they're going to be trying to clip to the refrigerator, I would put a generous amount on there and then just press it onto the back. It is that simple. Now you can dress this up. You could use it in a gift basket whatever you want to do. It's just a quick, easy little gift. And then you're just going to let that dry. Now I do have some that are already finished. As you can see, I just attached the magnet to the back of the clothespin. And they work beautifully. So that is project number one. You saw how long it took me, just a couple of seconds. The whole thing, if you have to cut out the little shapes and pictures, it may take you five to ten minutes tops on this craft. The next one is just as simple. The next one, you're going to need a candle in a glass jar. I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Let me close up this E6000. Okay. So you have a candle from the Dollar Tree, and this was a dollar. You can print out any picture that you want on sticker paper or on regular printer paper, or you could pick up any of the, what is it, the um, jumbo stickers, wall creations that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I picked these up. These are actually going to be for another craft, but you can use those. So what you're going to do is you're going to print your picture in a five by seven. 
It really needs to be a five by seven. And the reason why is because you want it to cover the majority of your candle. So we're gonna cut that out real quick. Okay, now, if you have sticker paper, all you have to do is cut it out, stick it on. If you're using regular printer paper, you are going to want to use some Mod Podge. If you do not have Mod Podge, you can use just glue and water. So what you're gonna do is, if you're using regular paper, you're gonna Mod Podge the front of the candle, and then you're going to attach your photo, and then Mod Podge over. This is sticker paper, so we're just going to peel off the back. I'm going to lay the candle down. Make sure your candle is really good and clean whenever you, um, before you actually start to lay this down. You're going to lay it down wherever you want, smooth it out, make sure there's no wrinkles, and then just press. Now this one, this one is a little lopsided, but that's okay. And you have a personalized candle. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take Mod Podge and you're going to want to go over top of this, even with the sticker paper, because you want this to seal completely and you don't want this paper to rip or anything whenever they go to grab it. And there you go. A quick, easy, personalized gift. Now, our last craft... We're going to make, our last craft, we are going to make a personalized D&D &D or any kind of game dice tray. Now, I do have a video up previously of making a larger dice box with the dice tray inside of it. Now, I use that one still. However, if you do have a big group of players or a small table, what happens is you don't have enough room for everyone to have a box that size. These little bo these little, I guess, wooden boxes, um, you can find at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I think I gave 98 cents for this. So it's really cheap and easy, and we are going to make it the exact same way as we made the other ones in the previous video, with one exception. I found out that Michael's has felt that has sticky back thanks to my husband on the back now this is a dollar 19 at michael's so together 98 cents dollar 19 with your 40 percent off coupon you can get this for 75 cents so for less than two dollars you have everything that you need to make a personalized gift now if you don't like the color of this wood, you can use paint or varnish or stain or anything that you want to paint this whatever color you want. I'm going to leave it this light color for right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna square it up on the corner just because we don't wanna waste any of our felt. 
And then you're going to take a marker or a pen of any kind. Probably need one that is finer point. Uh oh. And we are going to trace the bottom. of the board. Take your scissors and then just cut. Set your felt aside. Now, if you can't find or if you have scrap felt from another project, like I have an entire pack of felt sheets from the Dollar Tree, this will work as well. You just have to glue that down. But because I did find this, we are going to use the sticky back. And then you're going to push it down in there and measure. And as you can see, it comes up just a little bit on the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim that down about where it was folding up. Figure out which way you cut the square. That also helps. Okay, it's still a little bit too big on the edges over here. So, as you can see, that fits perfectly down in there. So, for this, you just peel the backing off. And very carefully place it into the bottom of your wooden box. And voila, you have your very own personalized dice tray that takes just a couple of dollars and just a couple of minutes to make, really. Grab your dice and start rolling. So I hope you guys enjoyed these crafts. They are really quick, really easy. They don't take a long time to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that like button, please. And make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.